Okay. Okie doke. Welcome everyone. Last day of the week here. See what we get. Yesterday was a good day. Let's quickly go over the market. Again, you know, the market's bullish. I just sound like a broken record now. I keep saying it over and over and over again. I've been saying it for weeks and months and years. There's just no let up here. You know, I did say that we, if we pulled back, <clears throat> we would not have a deep pullback. So this was a baby pullback in the SPY. But it looks good. You could buy the market today. Where we go, let me see, you know, I mean the first target obviously is the previous high. It's not that far away, it's only $2, so I don't know. We could make another brand new all-time high in the market today. Alta is no read here, so very interesting. Gap down huge last night. Was it 260 this morning? It's rallied ten dollars since this morning. Absolutely crazy. So no read on this at all. Can't short this, and can't go long this year either. So you just leave the Alta alone. Very expensive as well. And uh, I'll just see how this acts like after today. Interesting stock to look at. I mean, 300 is in sight for this at some point this year. 281. You even think this is a devastating gap, but look, it was a 259 last night. It's rallied $10 since then. So obviously not real devastation. Google looks amazing. Went up over the strike $2 yesterday and is hitting up and making another brand new all-time high today. Really good. 844.18, whether this holds us or not, well, depending on the market, it looks like it might. Uh, so the option I call it expired today, you'd be up $4 over the strike. It doesn't make a lot of sense to hold something, at least a full position, until the last day, even if you're over the strike, which you were yesterday, but it didn't close there. It closed at 8.38. I kind of had a feeling the market would gap up there today. So really nice call that was. What happened with the target? Probably the last day for this for the big, big move was yesterday. If anyone was still in it, I would have been out. Let's just see. Yep, yeah, here's the bounce. 54.41. So that's done for now, at least temporarily. Let's look at cost. Cost fell, fell, fell. Barely gapping up here. No volume. So this could rally today with the market. We'll see what this does. FNSR. I'm just not crazy about this, but I rated it. Kara, I didn't rate and don't really like. This one, I don't like either. Hey, I think works and rates well. And Zoom Z, I like the best. So let's just, let's watch two. I'll put pay in the middle. Have Zoom Z up as your main one. And I'll look at the longs that she put in the room. And any questions, write and let me know. OCLR. This isn't gapping up. Oh no, this is with FNSR you're saying. Where were yeah. the longs watches? Go ahead, what's your question here? Yeah. What? You said it's gapping up. BA, let's look at this. Just a reminder, Monday, Sunday and Monday's a class if anyone wants to do the retake. Password for the room for Monday will be sent on Sunday and I'm off all next week. Just a reminder. VA, wow, I haven't looked at this in so long. SBGI. Mm, no, this looks weird. It's not gapping up anymore. It's gapping down. See it? Um, what was the other long? IBB. Oh no, this is just the, whatchamacallit. There's nothing here with this one. 
There doesn't look like there's any good longs. That's weird. That's really weird. Let's just take one more quick scanorama dish. Mm, nothing really here. No, I think this is it, people. There's actually no good longs, except for the market. That's weird. For for gappers, I mean. That's interesting. It's like a Tesla. I put all the targets in the room, but the main, main one is the Zoom Z. Pay is in the middle here. Nothing I don't think is going to have a small stop today because Zoom Z will probably have a spread. Tesla doesn't look amazing, but maybe. market runs up today, Amazon will make another new high today. These things are just crazy. What about WFC? Which one? W what? WFC. Is that Wells Fargo? That's Wells Fargo. Yeah. Is it gapping down? Yeah. Let me look. It's not that much. <sighs> WFC yeah. has volume. Let's look. It is gapping down. Is that right? That's weird. On the daily, it has 55.96, but in the one minute, it has 59.07. I have. What does everybody have for this? I have 10 different prices for this. Bad print. Yeah, it looks it because the 15 minute confirms it. This is gapping up. Yeah, I mean, you must have the bad tick too. That's weird. That was weird. All the banks are probably going to run today with the market. Here, let's just focus on Zoom Z, but it's not going to have a small stop, people. So pay, I think, drops and works and could go to 19. Zoom Z, target is 17, 1750, 17. 1750? 1750 is the first target for Zoom Z. Everything's going to be a big stop today, meaning 50 cents or more because of the spread and everything else. Are you ready over there? And you're going to be ready to do your size and stuff with the shares. 200 shares. Well, you don't, you don't know. You don't know what the stop's going to be. I'm guessing. Oh, okay. I'm this estimating 50 top. cents. Oh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm okay. estimating. Well, then it's, okay. If, if it's 50 cents, you're right. 200 shares. Yes, you're right. Okay. I'm estimating, though. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Just make sure you short it and then put the stop in right away. Okay, good luck everyone. Here we go. Pay isn't open yet. No one do anything with that yet. Typical, typical, typical. Look at this. This is not open yet. Look at that. Typical. FNSR. You know what? I'm going to put FNSR in the third chart here. Nothing else is setting up yet. 
In fact, I'm going to put Zoom Z in the middle. FNSR I have up as a main one. FNSR, 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 75 by 25. 75 by 25, FNSR. 75 by 25, FNSR. Nothing else is going to hit yet. You can do 20. 75 by 20, FNSR. Don't do anything until it hits. Nope, it didn't trigger yet. Here, here, zoom Z. 99 by 50, zoom Z if it hits. 99 by 50, zoom Z. Going to be a jack of all trades here today. 99 by 50, zoom Z. 99 by 50, zoom Z. 99 by 50, zoom Z. Right here, right here. Not, take it, take it, take it. Zoom Z. 99 by 50. It's going to hit. There. Zoom Z. Are you in? Yeah. All right. Let me just get situated here. This didn't trigger. That's That entry's off on the FNSR. Yep, Zoom Z was a one. Zoom Z was a one, take it down to 1750. Hold on, let me just move all this stuff off here. Zoom Z, Zoom Z, are you in it? Yes, I am. How many do you have? 300. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let me just see where it went. 85. And what was the stop? 50. Put it at 55. Put it at 55. Just give it a little bit more. 1855. Just give it a teeny weeny little bit more. I don't think it's going to matter, but here's some look at the market. FNSR never triggered, so no one should be in it. Pay looks weird. I knew this would work, but this is crazy. Zoom Z was the one. You got to be in it. You got to be in it. Do you have the stop in? Now put it at seven. Uh, what should we call it? 1855. You have it there? Yeah. Nope. Nothing. Here, try to write this down because there's nothing else. Nothing at all. I knew they all wouldn't work. It's weird. Weird, weird, weird. My entry was off. I got it at 1793. Well, that doesn't matter. Just leave it for now. There's nothing you can do. And it's working anyways. FNSR is desperately trying to set up but there's nothing in this yet. Here, zoom Z. So let's see how it acts at 1750, okay? You. What? 1750? <laughs> yes. There's nobody else here. <laughs> You're hilarious. Five, six cents off the, off the entry isn't a big deal. You were 10 cents plus yesterday. Huh? I'm, I'm, I'm in at 1793 though. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, okay. You're you're up. All right, under 80. Let's see where it goes. I think really 1750 is realistic because of the market here, though. I mean, that would be a dollar from the high. Seventeen sixty, even people. Yep. No, t don't take any chances here today. Oh, market isn't holding yet. FNSR, FNSR just broke. If you want it, put a stop and put it tight at twenty nine fifty. If you want to do a second trade, FNSR with a stop at twenty nine fifty. I don't like this as much as the Zoom Z. We'll go back and look at it later. Here, Zoom Z. Zoom Z, just stay with this one, people. Only do one thing today. Market's very bullish. It's coming in a little bit. Here, 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 here. Are you, you're, <laughs> yeah, I, I, your hand should be in the button. You're drinking coffee. If it doesn't break 60, then you got to get out. Try to hold it. Try to hold it a little bit, little bit. Here, are you, is your hand, cancel the stop. Cancel the stop. I didn't have one in. Oh, that isn't good. <laughs> was, I, my entry break was wasn't good, so. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. You're going to hit it out any I'm second now. Any second now you're going to get out, okay? Yeah. Any second. Mm, 
Nice move. Nice trade. Let's see if we get one more jiggy. Take it, take it, take it, take it. You get out. Get out, get out, get out. How much you up? Under 30. Okay. But why didn't you put this? You're looking at it, Brad. Why didn't you put the stop in? What if it hadn't worked? Yeah. Well, I would have been saying yeah. Huh? Well, I didn't know, I didn't know where, where you wanted to put the stop. So I, I said 55. But I got in at 17.90. What did oh, you have to do oh, with anything? Oh, 50 cents over. That's what you meant. Yes, I said 18.55. Oh, okay. You're like, yeah, I can cover, but if this thing reverse swishes, no, you'll be covering two dollars over the number. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you have to look. We have to go over the entries. We have. We have to do that later. We, in fact, we're gonna we'll, we'll we'll do that over here because the thing is that you gotta understand where where you gotta be out of it by. Here, that was the exit for this for the morning people. This thing has dropped more than a buck, and the market's bullish. 1740. All right, what did you make again? $130. That's good. That's excellent. Very good. Where was your exit price? Um, $17.50. Beautiful. Yeah. 10 cents off the low. And now here it is. You see it's at $17.70. You see? All right. Okay. Eric almost gave me a conniption because he didn't put a stop in. <laughs> I, I don't know why. <laughs> All right, is everybody out? Let's look at the other one. Good first day back. Yeah. You're out. Yep, James. All right, here, let's look at FNSR. If you feel like you want to do something, although I don't know why you would. I just don't know why you would. We'll wait and see if this breaks in the five minute. Zuzine was the one. And this even looks spreadier in here. Um, let's look at everything again. Hey, did work, but was crazy. Look, drop, broke, flipped over the high, broke again. Oh, you know what? Let's look at Staples, that piece of crap yesterday. Where did that end up going? Anna took 3,000 shares and made $1,110. Anna has made back half the cost of the class since yesterday. Today, she didn't even do it yet. And she, what, what did she take? She did the one yesterday, the TLRD, and oh. today she did the one that I just called, but oh. she's not doing the class till Sunday and Monday. I'm not saying people should do that, but it's definitely, it's, it's terrific for her. Look at this piece of crap staples. Wow. SLS? Yeah, I just remember yesterday it acted crazy. Look, now today it's rallying. Gap down and rallied again. Best trade is a great call. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. Yeah. I guess I can watch three things at once, but it's kind of stressful. Here, if you're still in Zoom Z... You can put the stop at 17.75 and ride it on down and see if you get it any lower. But you know, this was the morning move. Pull up your one minute chart, blow it up. Blow it up really big. Blow up your one minute, make it the whole big screen. Okay. Now I want you to go to the bar at 9.30. Hey is working, but look how crappy it is. Here, hold on. I'm just trying to explain something to to Eric, and then we'll go over the we'll go over the um, the pay. Blow up the chart. Which one do you want me to? Uh, I want you to blow up the Zoom Z one minute chart. Okay. Now you see where your entry was. Blow it up. Blow it up. Okay. Okay. You see, you know where you got in. You got in at 9.31, right? Yeah. So, where would you put the stop if you were doing this alone and you didn't have me? Um, well, where would you put it? I'm asking I'm in, I'm you. In the, I was in at 17, 93, 50, what, uh, 18, 30? Wasn't made at 50 cents, right? No, 18.30 would be too tight. I mean, you could, but it's awfully tight. But either way, either but there's a. You don't yes, it's go ahead. Sense. I'm sorry. Well, you, 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 you know. You took a little bit more today, but that was okay. Yeah. It worked. Yeah. But I'm just saying, though, I estimated 50 cents. That wasn't like a rule or something. I was like, well, it could be about 50 cents. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was right. It, I was right. I said 99 by 50. I what? I was. I was actually exactly right. <laughs> I don't know 
how I do. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I said it's going to be about 50 cents. It was 50 cents. <laughs> Anyways, the point is that you need to know where to put the stop in. We'll go over that later. Um, all right, let's look at pay. Pay is working, but this drop rope slipped over the high. Would have had a retake. Looks really crappy. I did think this would work in a fall. It is working. Did you do it on your own? I mean, if you did it on your own, you made money, obviously, but it was kind of scary. You know, had a big drop, but don't have a lot of conviction when something acts like this. I did like it. I did think it would work. It did work. It took two tries. You would have made the money back from the first stop and still been profitable, but very, very hard. Zoom Z was easier. Chief, did you do pay? Zoom Z just had a weird looking bar here, which looks like if you had tightened the stop, you're out, but out with profit. Still could go into work, but you have to look at the length of the bar, and this is pretty much, and that's good for that stock. What? We have to go over some entries. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go over that before you leave today. Which which you know it's up to you if you want to redo the class. Here, FNSR did go down, break, didn't get through the low, did have a little baby move in here, trying to go, didn't break the low yet. Looks like it's gonna try. If you're in this though, the stop has to be 2950. It is gonna do it. Under 80, FNSR. Did anyone do it? This has a dollar target from here. Here it goes, FNSR, if you want a short, stop is 29.50, I called it a while ago. I don't think you should do any more trades, why? Why? The stop would have to be 29.50, it would be 70 cents. If you took 200 shares, you could make 200 bucks, but if it doesn't work, then you will lose 200 bucks, or 140, you'll lose your profit for the day. Be happy, you made money today, you made money yesterday, you made money in the Google option, you've never traded in your life this week, and look, I'm going to call you Journey Woman because you keep wanting to take trades. <laughs> I'm going to call Eric Journey Woman because he wants to take another trade. That's like Journey Woman. Can I do another? Can I? Can I? Can I? Sometimes it's just about getting the move and getting out and getting the money because honestly, you know, I do believe the market holds. I just don't know what time. It's 9.43 and it didn't hold yet and we kind of got lucky and this is still going. A journeyman wants to do another one too. Steelheart, is he doing a second trade? He's getting nuts as well. Everybody's getting crazy. All right, let's look at cost. What happened with this? Nope, didn't go anywhere yet. Let's look at Alta. What happened with this? Alta, oh my, Atlanta. Alta ran up and just made a brand new high from, look at it. That's crazy. <gasps> you Alta this morning, Alta got down last night. Was it 259, 260 this morning? Ran up ten dollars. I said, "Look at this. You can't do anything with this." And then it ran up. It opened and swooshed this morning. Ran up ten bucks. Now came in. This is nuts. The stock is higher. But I mean, how can you trade something like that? What was the other one? I O N S. No, this didn't do anything. What happened with Target? Nothing. What happened with Tiva? Zoom Z, if it goes below the low, you want to take it again? Me? No, I'm talking to Journey Woman. <laughs> All right, no, I'm okay. This is a serious question here. Now, for real, would you, if you were on your own, would you take another trade today? If you were just listening to me in the room, uh, uh, listening to me and not sitting next to me, would you? Uh, I'm mean, just I would serious. Probably take a smaller lot, maybe. Why? Yeah, but you still are risking the profit that you just made. You just you have a job to do, and you just did it, and you did it very well. So why why keep going after it? Mm -hmm. If you can make ten percent of your account every day, that's that's all you need to be doing right now till you get it up. Do you know what I'm saying? Till you work it up, and then you can start to take more risk, and then you have more flexibility. You know what I'm saying? If you take another trade today and it doesn't work, you could lose half the profit that you're up. Are you going to be okay with that? No, I'm okay. Do you know what I'm saying? This, you know, it's, where did this go? Zoom Z did go down to 1720. Yeah, 20 cents. You would have had another 40 bucks. So FNSR, or no, you would have had another 60 bucks. You have 300 shares. FNSR is working. 
I did do the targets for this. I think it could go to 28. So Steelheart did it. Who else did it? It is working. It, it broke later than Zoom Z. Eric wanted to do it, but the stop now is late. I mean, the entry is late. So the entry, if you had wanted to do it, Eric, would have been when you were ready in the Zoom Z when I called it. I called it, you know, 10 minutes ago. You were ready in the other one and then getting out. So it was, this, is a, this is too big of a stop now if you're taking the entry now. If you're already it's in it, it's a different story. Huh? It's starting to come, it's starting to back up now. Right, but the original entry was way, way back up here, like, you know, 9.34, 10, 12 minutes ago. Thunder did another one, he can't control himself. 28. <laughs> 28 is the number. Susanna's in FNSR, did you do the Zoom Z2, or you just did this one? So Zoomzy was the quick play. FNSR has the biggest target potential. It's working here. Zoom. Oh, what? <laughs> I can't believe you're upset that you didn't, you didn't do this when you just had a good trade. I'm gonna call you Galahad. <laughs> You've been doing great. How can you be upset when you're at money? We talked about this yesterday. I said, what if you make money? Is that a bad day? No. That's right. So you had a good day. No, I called it back at 9.34, 9.35, but you were ready in the other one. In fact, your, your exact exit of the time of the exit of it was, actually, it was right around the same time. So you were exiting Zoom Z as the other one was entering, You would have, and you're not fast enough to do this yet. You would have had to quick get out of the Zoom Z, then flip right over to the, to the uh, FNSR, do it, put the stop in quick, and then flip to the other one. I mean, you would have, I'm not I saying you can't. stopped out. I'm looking at that now. What? 9.33. I probably would have got stopped out. Cause Which one are you talking about? Um, what is this? The one we, uh, FNSR. You wouldn't have gotten stopped out. The first trade I called never triggered. Never triggered. So this is the high of 29.41? That's right, but it never triggered then. Originally I said what? I can't remember. Um, it never triggered. 75 by 20 at the... the yeah, it didn't hit that until the number until 934. Look at the bars. Put your jiggy on the bar and see the whole thing. 934, okay. You wouldn't have been stopped out. Here, this is the morning exit though. Steel hard if you're in it. 2850, 2842, 948. You're bar by barring in here to get it down till 10 o'clock if you feel like it. Bar by bar by bar by bar. In fact, I put the stop over this high of the bar, which is 58. This is a nice flush actually. This is almost a dollar from here. Holy crap, look at this go. Uh, <laughs> did anyone do this besides Susanna, Steelheart, who else? Chief, did you do pay? FNSR works so well compared to compared to pay, which was crappy, but it did it did I mean it's still going, yeah, you're right. Here. This is the exit here, I think, people, right here. Don't let it pop over 30. If you did that trade, it's good, it's great. Here, this is the bounce. Uh, okay, question from the other Italian Eric to put the order very far away. Yes, he did that this morning with the Zoom Z. I said do a test trade, try to short Zoom Z at 25, which it was not at this morning. It was gapping here around whatever, you know, 1825. So he had to actually put an order in. And if it sits in his monitor, that means he's got it to short. Then he cancels it. If it doesn't sit, if it doesn't pop up in there, then he doesn't have it to short. So he put in, he doesn't have a jiggy to figure out that's, he's testing to see if he has the short. Rather than email the broker or whatever, he does a test trade now. That's what he does. So that's what you would do. You put an order so far away that it would never fill it in the pre market. And that's what he did with the other one. Steelheart, good job. How much money did you make on this? That really was the morning exit, people. 10 minutes from 10 o'clock. Market going to hold somewhere in here. Great trade. Almost a dollar. Boom. Out. Do you understand, Mountain Girl? 
Seal her made 286 bucks. Good. Let's let's go over um what happened to the other one yesterday? Where did it go? Wow, this is still falling. The one from yesterday is still going. It's at 15.40 something, the TLRD. This fell, broke below, kept going. Where did this, this ended up going, I think, to 15.75 yesterday, 15.71. Go over the test trade again. The test trade is, if you're not sure if you have something short, you put an order out to short it so far away from the price that it would never get filled in the pre-market. If the order sits in your trading monitor, then you've got it. If it doesn't pop up, then you don't, but you must cancel it, otherwise you'll get filled or could get filled somewhere into the open. So if it sits in the monitor, you've got it, then cancel it. Then you know you got it. And if it doesn't, you don't have it. And you can request it. Okay. There was something else I was gonna say. I forget, what else were we talking about yesterday? What other questions? Here, this is a bounce and zoom Z. Look, no one should be still in this. Oh, we were going to go over Google. We can do that over here. We can do that over here with the chart. Um, is anyone still in Google at all? Anyone at all still in the Google? Pull up your option chain. Are you signed in? Yeah. Are you into your option uh, express or whatever or the Ameritrade or whatever? Yes, yeah, sign in. Is anyone still? Galahad just said he should be. Eric. What? Galahad just said he should still be in Google. Oh, no. Eric said no. Now, Eric's actually going to help you today. But I want Eric to look up and see what it's worth first. This is practice for Eric. Who would you tell it to? We'll, we'll pull it up. We want to see what we know what you paid for. We know what you sold it. How many shares did you have of it, Galahad? You told me you made eighteen hundred dollars, but you didn't tell me how the quantity you had or the price you had. Wow, pay went to the target. I said, of course it did. <laughs> Hello. Um, okay. What did you happen? It's, so you're looking at the ones expiring today, the eight forties. Google. What are they worth? Eight contracts, but what price did you pay? No, I know, I'm talking to Galahad. I just want to see what I'm estimating what his profit would have been once we know. But I want you to tell me what it's worth. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What? It's today's. Yeah. Go ahead. No, that can't be right. The 840s. Drop down, go, go, go. Yeah. Expiring the 10th. Yeah. That's in December. Oh, okay. Now refresh. Refresh and blow it up. What did I tell you this morning that was going to be worth if you sold them? $4. <laughs> okay. So, if you had kept them till today, 
You had three contracts for 300 shares. Okay. You could sell them right now this second. You're out of it already for $4. So what would your profit be? Figure it out, figure it out. 300 times four. Oh, 1200. 12, yes. But what if it wouldn't have been? You would have lost completely. Oh, yeah. Everything. Why? There's no time value at all. There's no time value whatsoever. It expires today. And every hour and every second, it's 956. That number mm -hmm. will be worth less and less and less as it, as it gets into the close. You understand? No matter what it, it trades, unless it keeps before. trading up, which, huh? It, it happened to me before. I, I realized. What did the it? Week, uh -huh. The week of expiration, it just, it just shrinks and then boom, you know? Right, it yeah. does. Yeah, it's usually worth like 10 cents or 20 cents or something. But the good thing about this was that it went, it went it went up to the strike, which I said, and it went over the strike. So so, but you're still taking a chance. Galahad would have made three thousand, but what was your what was your price? Now let's just this is a very good discussion here, people, and this will help everyone. And I know not everyone does options, but it's the same point with the day trading. Whether you get out of something, whether it moves one R, it moves one and a half R's, or it drops to three R's, how what was your price? No. Well, how much cost did you actually pay? You did not pay $3.40 the day that I made the trade call. Oh, no. What was the price oh, that you actually paid for it? He had to. 120, yeah, he might have paid a little bit less because we took it in the morning. What did you pay, Galahad? When he added, I believe. No, what did you pay? The cost what was the cost of the option that you paid? This is running up right now. Quit. Refresh it. It's going to be worth more. But just refresh it. It said 8.45. Galahad, what did you pay for the cost of the option? $1.20? $1. $1. Oh, you didn't take the ones that expire on the 10th? Oh, then I don't even know what you did. I don't even know what you did. I thought you did the same trade that I, that I you didn't do the you didn't do the ones then that I that I called. I, I don't even know what you did then. You did something on your own. Huh? 435. Yes. So you, you could have made like 1300 or something. But who would buy that on the day of expiration? How does that? No, you're, you, you, you were, what do you mean? You're, you, can, you, can, you can always get out of these because they always have volume. You can, I don't know if it has the volume up in there, but these, these are liquid things. This okay. is what we trade liquid stocks. We trade liquid stocks, yeah. whatever we do, for the day trades or for the options. So if they're buy, the person buying this, why would they buy that on the day of expiration? Because people do this as day trades. I told you that. You could have taken it and got out of it the day that we did it. Don't you remember? Oh. Okay. Someone can buy this right now. It's it's going. Targeting this today is 845, 850. Some people will are perfectly happy buying something and getting out and making 50 cents or making a dollar. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So as a day trade, this stock gapped up. The stock looks higher. The market is moving. Actually, Google is moving ahead of the market. Here's the market. Here's the market. Here's the market long. If you were here, the market looks great. So who will buy this? Someone that wants to trade here. It's not even 10 o'clock with the market. Let's look at Amazon. Amazon looks good too. So it looks like Galahad did a one week out. So he paid more. So we can't compare it to yours, but it's still the point that it was a good, good trade. Galahad, I didn't realize that you did this and had a week left. So yeah, you could have held it, but you still were up $1,900. So, so Eric, Eric, you said he should have gotten out. Whether he had one more week left in it or not, why do you think he should have gotten out with $1,900? Go. Because he lost money, could have went against you. Mm -hmm. He lost everything. Can you hear what he just said, Galahad? Did you just? Did everybody hear what Eric just said? Talk a little louder. He could have lost everything. He could have lost. Time he could have lost. You could have lost everything. And how much money did you have at risk, Galahad? How much money did you risk in the trade? Twenty seven hundred. Lost everything. <laughs> he said you could have lost everything. It's not easy to say. It's very. It's 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 simple to say. It's more than easy. It's it's easy. It's so easy. It's it's ridiculously easy. That's it's why Eric well, just answered for account. you, That's huh? What, I what don't you understand? Eric is really going to be your your teacher here, <laughs> Galahad. <laughs> yeah, Eric. Eric's saying you don't want to blow up your account. You don't want to blow up your account by being up money in trades and not losing it. Galahad's saying, no, he couldn't have lost the whole thing. But guess what? Yes, he could have. Tell me how he could have. 
Here, you let's go like over that? here. Let's go over, bring your chair over here. Come over and talk. How could he have, he's saying there's no way, Melissa, that I couldn't have lost the whole amount. But, yeah, anyone. But that's not true. Why? Why isn't it true? Uh, you could have went down. Or it could have, it, it could have yeah, stagnant. No, it could have went down. Yeah. It could have went down. It could have went down. And what would that, what, give me an example of what that would have meant. Here, this is going to help you too. Because yesterday I was asking you about this gap up or two days ago yeah. on the tape. This could have done what? What could this have done that he would have lost it? Like he would have yeah, lost yeah, way more than half his money management or possibly the whole thing. What could it have done? It would have went down and he would, it would, wouldn't have been worth as much. It, it would have been, it could have gapped down. Yeah, oh, that's another thing overnight. Yeah. Yes, it could have. Hmm. And it could have gapped down to 820 or 815. And there's no way then it would have made it. Not in by Friday, not by next week, not by anything by to 840. Then he would have been forced to hold it. To hold, you know. Well, he's not forced to do anything, but he probably mm -hmm. would have held it because he does tend to do that. And that's why I said he's got to take out when he's down half. But but when you're up $1,900, that's real money. So he's still in it. He's still, he just no, he got out of it yesterday, but he's oh, upset oh, oh, today because oh, he could yeah, have made more. Yeah. Yeah. Are you upset that you could have made 1200 and you didn't? You don't look upset. No, I mean, it just it just seems that we when we get out of stuff, it's like oh, it goes everything. It just mm. keeps going. Yeah, with the options or the day trades you made. It just I don't know. It just seems like as soon as you get out, so all of a sudden everything works. Like I'm well, it, it, yeah, it's <laughs> like everything. But just you're getting out with profit. Yeah, I know. Uh. So what do you think is the definition though of of <laughs> what do you think, though, is the definition of greed? If you're holding something too long, are you taking the chance that you could be up in it and you're risking the whole profit? I ain't risking the whole profit, yeah. 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 Do you want to risk the whole profit to hold everything to the target? Mm. Galahad does. Do yeah. you want to? No, I, I would feel bad if I, if I lost, yeah. But. You would feel bad? Yeah. Yes. Like, if you had not, if you had held Google to today and it would have been Ooh. worth nothing, would you have felt bad? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. If, if you're in cost and you're down half, you should kill it. I bet you are, and I bet you didn't kill it. Galahad's talking about maximizing the trade. This is, this is the whole, whole, whole big discussion I had, the Mr. Perfect discussion with Galahad, although this doesn't really pertain to you. I see a little bit of that in you because you wanted to quick take another trade yeah. today, yeah. although it did work, and it was true, and, and you were here with me, but, the, but you did good. Actually, this is still working, people, if you're in it. I listen to you. You're funny. But look how this rallied. See, this didn't keep going. This went 10, so you got out of this almost at the low. This is Zoom yeah. Z. Look, bounced, went 10 cents down, and flew up. So look, if you hadn't gotten out of this, it's back at your price. It went ten oh. cents from where you got out of it. Look, this is the zoom zing. You, you were mean, talking about the it? FNSR one. Here. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, the one we weren't even in. <laughs> so they don't always all continue down after you get out. No, yeah, this went ten right. cents down and then it flipped. Right. <laughs> you know. The, yeah, if you're if you're down half in this, then then you, the answer is easy: kill it. And if you haven't done it, then you're not following your money management rules. And that would pay. Pay worked. Pay worked, yeah. Pay worked. Mm. And he was getting back to this whole thing we were talking about here. This was the whole Mr. Perfect discussion that I had with him when he was here. When you get to a point where you are getting becoming better as a trader and more skilled as a trader, then you will be able to do this. Mm. At a certain point, you have to prove to yourself that you can be consistently profitable by taking trades and making money and getting out, and taking trades and making money and getting out, and taking trades and making money and getting out. And it doesn't matter the number of bars, and it doesn't matter about maximizing the profit. I don't. There's no way I can get that through to Galahad apparently because he was here for a month and he still doesn't understand that. But Journey Woman has that problem. You, I don't know. You're mm -hmm. just here for a couple of days. But the point is that you can't maximize every tr trade when you are just trying to book money and you're in that learning curve and you really have to get the consistency down about making sure that you get out with a profit. Should I just have 30 cents as a target? No, you, you're, you're following the targets on the chart. You're following okay. the exit signs and you're following reversal signs and you're following the market and you're following my direction. So you're following all those things. You have 17 things to follow. The exit signs, the reversal signs, the candlesticks, the market, what I'm calling in the room, the targets I wrote in the room in the morning, you have 7,000 things. When it's telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you, telling you, usually they all come together. It's usually very easy to see. This was a very, very easy to see that this was the first exit on this two days ago, almost at the strike, 
two days left. Market you don't know yet. Hasn't popped. Mm. Stock gapped up on the day. You still have time value. Do you know what I'm saying? So it, it's once you get as a good trader and you're making money all the time hand over fist, then you will be able to take more risk and you'll be able to hold longer. And I would still not say to hold the whole trade then. Once you can take more risk and you become a more experienced trader, you would still get out half here. And you would hold maybe half back, but you would have more money risk on the trade. You wouldn't be risking three contracts and he wouldn't be risking eight. You'd be risking 50 and you'd get out 30 here and you'd ride 20 or you'd get out 40 here and you ride 10. Until you can do that, until you got more money under your belt and you can do it and you have more experience, you can't do stuff like that. If you only got two contracts, no, then no. get out the two and take your money and run. You, you, no one's ever going to make the money that they want to make in here if they don't understand that. And I think Galahad was a great example of that in the Mr. Perfect lecture. It was kind of funny, but it also was very serious. And it was very, very serious. And I'm not sure if he took it seriously enough, and I'm not sure if people took it seriously enough because it, it, was, it was funny. But, but it was a serious, serious lecture about how to make money as a trader because when you're in that learning curve and you're just getting used to, to taking size or you can't take the size yet because of the, because of the size of your account, then you have to book money. If you can make 10% of your account every day or 5% of your account every day, that's exactly what you should be doing. So you could save 30 cents, but your share size will be different every day. Some days you can take 300, some days you can take 200, some days you can take 400. Some days you only be able to take 100, okay? Because the stop might be big, all right? So you don't, you don't know. Now what Gator does is completely different. Gator scalps. Some of the trades we get stopped out on, Gator's out with profit. So Gator has, you know, a scalper mentality. As soon as the one bar goes red, he's out. We don't, we don't trade like that in here the way I call it. But I'm looking at lots and lots and lots of different things. But until you can build your account size up, you can't be swinging for the fences in every trade because of what Eric said, you, the whole thing could lose. And if you think it can't, then you're wrong. It can, even if you're in an option, even if you have a week left. The stock can gap down and it can be all over for you. true so you you guys are in a tug of war the whole month huh? well i mean i just was trying to tell him to book money he's been doing better at it though because he got out of this yesterday but now he's upset that he didn't get out of this to, that he didn't hold it today he was upset that he got out of target with sixteen hundred dollars and he could have made four so he probably he might go back to doing what he was doing before i don't know but if you can make four grand in two trades in one week then i don't see what the problem is with doing what i'm saying to do the reality is they could have not worked and you were up several thousand dollars and that is the reality. When you have an account that's worth a hundred grand, two hundred grand, five hundred thousand dollars, then I'm not saying swing for the fences. Then I'm saying you can give, have a little uh, wiggly jiggly room with some of these things to hold it. But I got to be honest with you, your total mentality then about money might be different if you had a million dollars in your account. If you had a million dollars in your account, your mentality would be different. And you know what? What would have been different if you had a million dollars in your account in you reference to the it. trade today? Huh? You want to save it. You want to conserve You know, you want to Yes. It. Yes. And guess yeah. what? What else? What, would you have wanted to do that second trade today? If you had a million dollars in your account today, would you have wanted to do FNSR or not? Yes or no? Probably not. I don't want to. No. Well, no, I'm telling you. I'm asking you. I, I doubt it. I doubt probably it. Well, let's just go for, just for, well, if you're not just for the hell of it. Huh? Yeah. If, yeah. What? If you heard of having it, then you, you you probably it's different if you if you've had it and you be used to having it. But if you if you never had it, then you that's a hard you know. If you never been I don't in that position, your point. What if do you, you mean? never been in that position, mm -hmm. then it'd be hard to imagine like. If you never had a million dollars, yeah, and then you have a million dollars, what are you gonna do? I'm probably gonna protect it. So you'd be conservative, conservative if you had a million. Yeah. So you think if you had a million dollars for 10 years, you wouldn't be conservative? <laughs> You're like, if I've had it my whole life, then I wouldn't be conservative? It wouldn't. I don't think it would bother you as much as if it would just, I don't know. No, I'm asking you yeah, real, you, real serious questions. Because you're never going to get to that point if you don't have the right mindset. And it's really not that different. Because Galahad was saying, you know, it's really easy to talk if you have a huge account. You can maneuver in and out of positions. Because when I was telling him what to do about coming back the one day, um, and I was saying, boom, you know, the cost. I wanted him to take more, and, and he couldn't. 
he's like, well, it's, you know, it's easy if you can have, you have a bigger account than this. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. I get it. But you would, you would just lose more if you're doing the wrong things. So the bottom line is you still got to know how to trade. You know, you still have to know what to do. You could take, you know, 5,000 shares of costs if you've got the BP, but you could still lose it then. So it's neither here nor there. But for the Zoom Z, for example, like Anna made 1,100 bucks. So if she had made, if you had made $1,100 today, now just work with me here. Mm -hmm. If you had a million dollars in the bank and if you made 1,100 bucks, would you feel the need to do FNSR? Probably not. Why? Because, well, I mean, that's a good, it's a good profit. It's a good profit. It's a good profit. Just like his $1,900 yesterday in Google was a good profit. Mm. It, you know, I mean, so you see what I'm saying? I mean, this is, this, is, this is a thing. I think it's better, and this is the point I was trying to make when you were here, Galahad, it's better to have no ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 BABA trades the whole entire year and make $1,600, $1,500, $1,500, $1,000, and not take the losses where you're up five, dollars $6,000, and then you completely lose the three grand that you have at risk of the trade over and over and over and over again trying to make that... 10, 12,000. It's better off if you have no $10,000 home run trades this whole year and get out when you're up. 1,000, 1,500, 1,900, over and over and over and over and over and kill the ones that are down half. You will make more money doing that. That's the point. And as a result, your account will grow. And same thing with you here with this. You screwed up your size the first yeah. day, but you made money the last two days. You know, you're so, so new. I think you did the right thing getting out of the Google of the day anyways here the two days ago. But this could pull in. But it's, you know, you're really taking the chance if you're holding something on the last day. And like you said, you can lose it all. Um, you, if you're in the train, you have to kill it at half loss. Any trade that you take that's an option. The stops in the in the day trades, if they stop, now this didn't stop today, it's flipping, but if the trade stops, you lose one R. In the options, I would say lose a half lot because the way I've been calling them, they either go right into the money, and also this is the way I'm calling them. I'm calling them that they're either working like immediately in the first 24 to 48 hours or they're not. Yeah. And that kind of tells you like it's not a good one. And this is where I'm thinking in my own mind. I've noticed that when I went back and looked at all the trades I called last year. For the options i'm like it's pretty it's pretty obvious the way i'm calling them they either work like right out of the gate or they kind of pull back a little and hold 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 and then take off or they collapse into themselves and then you just kill it so you just don't even waste your time sweating a bullet in it make sense but you can't take full losses you can't take full losses in the options that's the point i'm trying to tell you you're still thinking about the stuff that's happened in the past, Galahad. You can't, you can't do that. And your risk has not been the same in every trade you've taken. And, and, it, and it has to be. You can't risk $5,000 in, you know, in Amazon, which failed, and then risk $2,000 or $1,400 in Target, and it goes on to work. You can't do that. It has to be the same. It has to be 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, or 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. It has to be the same risk. You can't swing for the fences and say, boom, you know, or whatever. And actually, the only one that I ever said was amazing in the last 18 months I've been calling these was BABA. This is the only one. No, I lie. It was BABA and Amazon, um, Amazon in January of 2016 and BABA in August of 2016 were the only ones that I said to every single solitary person, these are amazing, take them. And I told the room, and it was in the letter, and every person in the room did them, and those are the only two in the last 18 months that I said, take, take, take. Amazon in January of 2016, and BABA in August of 2016. Yeah. Now you have a story. Mm -hmm. Tell the room the story with what you did with BABA. This is, this is really good, because you've been doing options for years, but not... You know, not with gaps. What did you do with this trade in here? You I took it? it? I took it and went up to 1700 You have $1,700. And then I, I think I, I think it came, I came back down some and I, then I, I got out of it. So you got out of it when it came back in? Yeah. Where? Do you remember the day? I don't remember. I, mm. Was it in this week here? We had a real big move. Yes, it was okay. the next day. 
and then I, I got out maybe the day after I got out of it a little but I, I, it went down a little bit when I it went out. red yeah but I had, I had money I just how much did you get make out of it I don't know I, 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 I had 1700 Seventeen hundred, you were up. Yeah. Well, what did you risk? Do you remember what you risked? How many contracts? I think I only had like three hundred in it. That's hilarious. It I know like, it's a good I mean, one. It was like I know. Unbelievable. Uh, you probably got out the red day because red scares you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I remember you said that in the Google. Sale. My guess is that you got out here. I thought you said you made fifteen hundred in it when I asked yeah. you what was the biggest trade you ever yeah. took. Yeah. Anyways, it gapped up this day, so it still had the price movement and it had a month left, but that was fine. This wasn't a bad exit. Yeah, it, this wasn't a bad exit, but this was the exit on this day, and I didn't get out either, and I regretted it, and then I suffered through the whole thing, but the big move was here, and that was chancing it, and I didn't get hold it the last day I got out of here then, but look, if I would have chanced it, this still wasn't the last day of expiration. I'm not, I'm not sure what to say to convince some of you about, and again, we were, we were talking, talking, talking about this R concept, and I really just want to flush it down the toilet, but it is something that traders discuss and talk about, and so I did when I first started to teach and trade. And I have the one discussion in, in the class about it, but I haven't been talking about it anymore in any webinars for more than a year. It's, it's something that I think the most important thing is the consistency of the profit and watching what you're doing and keeping the losses down. And I am more convinced than ever that, again, the options either go right in ways or if not, you kill them in half. And swinging for the fences isn't the best idea and best way to trade. And you can make more money getting out when as soon as it goes right into the profitability rather than trying to have these massive, massive, huge trades for the options or even the day trades. There are, there are some times when these things go further, and even if they do, like here, this got to 28. This got to 28 in here. Let's see where it backed up. If you had shorted this in here, right in this here, and it dropped in here, you would have been up 70-some cents, a little bit less, okay? It backed up in here, and guess where it went to? 28.87. Here's where it went. You would have been up... 10 cents, 20 cents. You would have been up 25 cents. So here's your whole day. Here's your profit for the morning. Now you've given back 70% of the profit. You could have held it down. You could have made more. But what if it didn't go? What if you gave back? You had your goal in for the day. You held it, held it, held it to try to get it down to 28. You gave back more than 50% of the profit to try to get it down. That doesn't make any sense. You see? Here, I'll blow this up. Which one is this? This is FNSR. You yeah. wanted to short oh, this yeah. as it was dropping. I said it's too late. Here was the entry, but this is the move in the morning, and Steelheart got out. The bottom line is this is the morning move. 22 cents from the target, out. If you don't get out here, it rallies all the way back up. Here's your entry. Here's the rally back. It holds, but how do you know? Chance, you don't. You don't know if it's really going to go again and break again to 28. And if it does, do you know what time it will get there? No, you don't. This is not chance. Rating the gap tells me the gap is good. Gets a setup. Call it, take it, boom, you're up. This is not chance. This is an executed system that we use based on my having figured it out and doing it for eight years. And you take the entry and we have the targets, but even the targets are estimates because this really could have been it. I'm sure 2825 is somewhere on this chart. Let's go look. I mean, I really felt that 28 was the number, but I'm sure this is here somewhere. Here it is. So this was a number, this could have just stopped there. It's chance if you hold it to a bigger number. This could go down all the way in here. It's gonna to try to break 28. So you can lower your stop if you want to get something to ride back, but what if it takes you out with profit over that area there around 2870-ish, 2880-ish, but if it takes you out, then guess what? You didn't make your goal for the day, or you were up more money earlier, and you're mad at yourself, and then you feel like you want to take another trade, or you feel like you did something wrong, or you hate yourself, mm. and it's not mm. good to hate yourself. I'm sure, Galahad, you feel bad about yourself for your exit in Google and your exit in Target, and that is, there's, that's, that's terrible. That was the whole point of the one discussion I wanted to have with you the one day that you didn't want to have on film, and you were mute like a mute. And you feel bad about yourself, I know, for your exits this week on those two trades, and you made $4,000, and that is something that I cannot help you with. I wanted to talk to you about it the one day, and you zipped up like a closed zippy. But that is something he did. I wanted to talk yeah. to about it, and he didn't. He didn't want to go there then. If to feel bad when you make four thousand dollars is something that I can't help you with. 
Would you feel bad if you made $4,000? No. That's right. <laughs> you got to feel good when you make money. And if you don't feel good when you make money, I can't help you. So the market is along, and the stop should be in the spiders, 237.25. This is not too late. You can go long here, 70 cents stop, but the target really is 240. The QQQs, you could be long in the QQQs if you want to right now. It's an all-day trade. Stop could be, has to be under 131. It could be 130.90. Let's take a look at all the strong stocks and see what they look like. Do you have any questions about anything you want to go over today? We have to go over the a entries. Yeah, entries, yeah. Well, what else? Um, I think you redo day two of a class, which yeah. is Monday. Can you or not? You have to yeah, go to work. work yeah. That's okay. <laughs> your if your max if your max loss is two hundred thirty dollars, then you're, that's all you can lose. If you want to kill it at half loss, that means if you're down one hundred and fifteen bucks, you would kill the trade. Apple looks good. What did Alta end up doing? What do you do? I never oh, look at this thing. Look at how this Alta rallied. I what did I say this morning? What did I say about this uh, this morning? What did I say about Alta this morning? You said it was continuing. It wasn't. I said it's probably going to make a brand new all-time high today. Oh yeah. It did. Mm. We got burned. We nobody got burned. We didn't do uh, the trade. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> if we had done it, yeah, nobody was, got burned. <laughs> You are funny. I never asked you what you do. What do you do um, for a living? You never told me. The IRS, you do call center. You work with the yeah. IRS? Oh, my Lanta. Yeah. No, I never it's knew that. It's just phone calls. And you tell them the refund amount, and then we do the amended um, returns. So you're not an accountant? Or no, are you an accountant? No. No, 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 no. no, no. no, no. Just like. Wow, yeah. so the big IRS office in Philadelphia, huh? Yeah. It's probably like it's huge. cubicles, that's all. Uh huh. Just like anything else. When people call anyone information, you just, you know, you just read, and you just read the ERM, you know, like the little manuals, and they have it on a PDF file. Yeah. And you just give them the information. No okay. wonder you think you're a pessimist if you're talking to people. They're probably yelling at you every day. Do you get nasty people on the phone? Oh, yeah, yeah. How do you deal with that? No, you just, you just uh, tell them, you know, I'm not going to continue the conversation if you keep, you know, do you hang up on him? <laughs> I haven't. I haven't. You never hung up with while. anyone? That's hilarious. Yeah, Eric works for the IRS and he gets nasty <laughs> people. No wonder you want to do something different with your life. <laughs> oh my God. How do you deal with it when people are mean to you? I just, I don't know. just learn how to take it. You can't take it personally. No. Yeah. yeah. You have days. You have good days, bad days. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. But we're not on the phone all the time, so that's good. Usually oh, half yeah. the day. Oh, some, well, now we're on all day, but that will end, what is it, April 18th, so... Yeah. And it gets slow. Well, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah he's undercover. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his fill bean hair, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, let's go over the entries for Eric. Okay, so here was the first entry here. Boom. Short it, stop here, drops. Do you understand it? Do you see what you did? Below. Yes. Boom. No previous bar. Yep, you're in. It's good. Mm. So yeah. why didn't you know where to put the stop? I still don't know. What a minute, cause what do you, you, <laughs> I know, I know that scared what me that you didn't put the stop bar? in. No, the stop, the stop. No, I got in. I'm thinking I got in at 1793. Yes. And, and before you had I thought you said the stop should have been 1750. 1850. This is where I'm not calling the dollar. Remember, yeah, this is yeah. where you're getting screwed up in your head about the yeah. entries. But you should know. Well, today I was looking at two things, but you got to know. So then I'm you got to know that. where it's at. You got to have the chart up and look at it and know that if you're getting something at 90 something, if I'm saying 50 and that's above it, therefore yeah, it's a dollar above it. Okay. So 1793 or wherever you got hit, then it stops 1850. Okay. You're going to just have to pay attention okay. because there's nothing we oh, can do. Oh, okay. You got in it right, but then you totally ignored the stop. And I'm telling you that this could have gone against you. It didn't, and it's fine. <clears throat> but you still got to, you got to learn how to do that right because I don't have time to give the dollars. So you got to know that if I say 90 something, and if, then if I say a smaller number for the stop, it okay. means it's, it has a number ahead of it that's higher. Okay. It could be 1850, it could be 1950, it could be 2050. It depends on, this is a cheaper okay. stock, but for example, 
what was the other one the other oh. day? Did CN have one above the thing? There was one of the ones that was... Because, like, I could say 2350 and the stop might be 2502. I mean, you never know. Some okay. things are smaller stops than other ones. Here, let's look. Oh, all I have to do is what? look at the chart. All I have to do is look I know. At the I know. It's just when you're in the moment, it's... Man. I know it's it's, it's all good and everything when the trade works, but you you got to yeah. have you have to protect yourself. See, the high in this one here was twenty five fourteen. Low in the day was twenty three fifty two. So it dropped from twenty five something to twenty three something. Mm -hmm. So you you know. But it took all day. It took all day, but all I'm just day. saying you still got to pay attention mm -hmm. to the numbers of the thing. You have time to do it. You're not acclimated enough because it yeah. was your first week doing it to do it fast enough. But the point I'm is, sure. you've got to do it because what if it doesn't work? Um, I our, think it would have got me out anyway because yeah, I have that two hundred dollar. Well, you said you would have covered it, but the point is, it it doesn't Max matter. Loss. They're not going to kill you. They're not going to kill it. Well, they might kill it, but they might kill it with poof, you know who knows when they notice it or kill it. Oh, wow. They might kill it with a five hundred dollar loss by the mm -hmm. time they notice it and kill it. When the stock reverses against you, what was the one yesterday? Oh, Staples. Gosh, how could we forget? This was insanity. This one here. This really was a failure yesterday, because look at it today. Wow. And then the institutions come in there with all these big flaws. We'll look at the whole chart in this, but it's just, here, this. You say, well, la, la, la. But if you had had to stop here, and if you would have said, well, I'm going to just cover it, the length of this bar here is 50 cents, the second mm. bar. Between two minutes from 917 to here, it's 70 cents. So if you were supposed to have to stop here, you, I don't know why you would have done this here, but say you shorted it, you're supposed to have to stop here. You're like, well, I'll just cover it. Well, where are you getting out? You're getting out like way up here by the time you press it. I mean, this isn't moving a live time, but we watched it yesterday and it went two. You know what I mean? It's seconds that you have to do it. And then the order has to get sent. It's not just you pressing it. The order has to get sent to the ECN and then it has to get filled. This is like second, second, seconds. But this is also happening in seconds, seconds, seconds. This is not a slow moving thing. That's why sometimes when you press the button to get out of something, you don't, or get into something, you don't have an exact fill. Like you yeah. press it, then it's a couple pennies in, or you press it, it's a couple pennies up. Do you know what I mean? Because the order has to be sent. I mean, this is, this is as close as live time as trading is ever gonna get for us people. But it's just the point that you have to have the stop in. All right, let's look at the daily chart of uh, staples here. I think it's just a good example of something that's just down a lot. It's just down a lot and it's backing up, but I would never go long this. Are institutions buying this? No, not in the chart. The chart's on a downtrend, but for the gap down that happened here that failed, it's getting buying now if you're the second day through, somebody's buying it. Do I think that this changes the trend in the chart? No. Would I buy it? No. Do I think it's going to drop again? Yes. Do I know when? No. But I wouldn't buy it. So. It's choppy. It's very choppy. It was choppy. Well, it's actually trading smoother today than it did yesterday. Does anyone want to go over anything else? And then I'm going to just, here, Google's coming in now. It's at 843.79. Does anyone want to go over anything else here about the week or anything today? Anything at all? Here, look, what did FNSR do? Yes. What? <laughs> FNS, whatever. Oh, yeah. How's everyone doing? You took FNSR in paper at 10.06 and made more in six minutes than you did in the Zoom Z trade. Oh, I thought you did that in for real journey woman, you said. Journey woman, you have to decide if you're going to do one trade a day or two trades a day. You're, again, you can't change your mind all the time. Just like Galahad can't change his mind on the amount of the risk, you can't change your mind or your mind on the days of the trades. Are you doing two trades a day or one trade a day? Are you doing retakes? You're only doing one trade. You should be doing one trade a day. That's it. Your risk is set, Galahad. I don't think so, because you risked more on <laughs> this trade here, which is fine. It worked in Google than you did in the previous ones the last two weeks. You risked more. So I don't, you know, make up your mind. Pay was crazy, absolutely crazy, but did work. I felt that it would. Gapped up, failed, then in the morning, gapped down, dropped. You would have had to do a retake in this to make money. I think the easiest one was the one 
that was the Zoom Z, and this is still going. Is anyone still in this at all? It could get to 27. So do you want to do two trades during a moment, or do you want to do one trade? If you risk 2800, if you risk 2700 in uh, Google, that's more than you risk in the option in Target. It's more than you risk in the other options. Again, I don't I don't care what you risk. I'm just saying figure out a number and 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 pick it. If you had risked 2700 in Google and we're up 1900 would we have gotten now? Yes. Knowing that you could have possibly made 4,000. Hmm. I probably would have got out. You probably would have got out. I was thought about it. Probably agonized it, but I probably would have got out of it. I think you would have got out because you made the decision to go out the other day. I said, what yeah. do you want to do? You said, I'm going to get out. Yeah. That's true, yeah. <laughs> you made the decision yourself. <laughs> we replay the tape. <laughs> I know. Well, I know. Well, that's why it's like interesting because then when I when yeah. I ask you, like I said, do you want to do Costco? And you and you said, uh, and you said, yeah. I said, no, the answer is no, then you don't want to do it. So if you have to think about it, the answer is no. That's the which you, that's the telltale sign. If you're questioning it, then the answer is no. Yeah. Holding it or getting it or taking it or doing it or doing a second trade or whatever. Do you know what I'm saying? Your intuition is trying to tell you something. <laughs> you see? You see? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. Danger. <laughs> I think the journey woman, if the idea of you risking more and doing one train would be would be better off for you right now. I think that that would have better results for you. Risking a little more and doing one train, not doing the two. I know you like want to do a second one and want to do a second one, but I think risking more and doing the one trade is better, so that when they when they really go and work and and fall hard, you will make. You know, you'll have a good, what you think is a good amount of money in the one trade that works. And even when it's a small win, then you'll feel okay about it. And, and I think you should, I think you should do one trade and do the good amount and then not do two. I think it is, I think it is easy. I think, you know, Galahad, when you get out of the mentality of trying to make huge trades, if you would decide in your head that you are perfectly acceptable and okay with not having a $10,000 winning option trade this year, if you can live with that and go to bed at night and get up in the morning and face yourself every day and accept that that's the better thing for you to do is to do, you know, to get out with the profit like you did in the last two in the last week, then I think you'll be fine. There's nothing wrong with making, you know, $1,900 or $1,600 in one trade. That's another thing. You what? had posted last year. Yeah, I made people, those. Uh, yeah, and he did too. 10, he did. 8,000. So you yes. see that, you're like, well, you know. But now he thinks every trade is going to be that. Okay. It's not. Mm. Mm. That's just reality. That is the reality. That's the market. Not every trade is going to be a huge win, but it is absolutely possible to be consistent with what you're doing with the picks and making money. And I've never been more consistent than I have been in 2017. There's reasons for that. But the reality is that it is about the consistency with it and not letting it get under your skin if something goes longer than you think. Here, we're gonna do a little exercise. We're gonna do we're gonna do a little exercise here. Just hang on one second. I'm gonna bring up a PowerPoint. 